All right, here we go again. So, the current situation is um, we are great, we are cool, we are awesome, and they're bad. Anyway, <laughs> retarded stuff aside, uh, we're still trying to deal with the Central Asian issue, but I mean, the, the territory here is so terribly infrastructured that it's not exactly concerning me. Uh, not really all that much. Not really all that much. And uh, other than that, it doesn't seem like we've gotten random naval invaded anywhere, which um, makes me quite happy because that's generally something that happens quite a bit erroneous. Um, is any other country like justifying war goals or doing something stupid or anything like that? Well, Indonesia sending divisions to our enemies and Iran is doing the same. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, no, I wanted to see date. Joint offensive wars. No, see, I just wanted to see like random countries justifying their own bloody wars. But other than Israel, <laughs> it seems like no one's uh, no one's got enough balls. Anyway, uh, speaking of having balls, I believe it is time to attack the North Koreans. Yes, he's trying to run away. He's trying to run away from Rason. I ain't having none of that. In fact, I am gonna naval invade from Vladivostok to Hamhung. Or maybe one sun. Now, Ham Hung. See, I, I see that there's no divisions there. Now, the AI cheats, so they'll probably realize what's going on, but whatever. Maybe it's gonna be too little too late. And anyway, so yeah, we've, we've amassed enough forces to make our counterattack against the North Koreans. And that's going to include retaking all of the territory that we have lost so far. Come on. Come on, boys. Oh shit, right. It's probably better if I do this. And get some air support to my guys. If that happens, we're gonna be in a much better position, hopefully. I mean, <laughs> South Korea is being quite nice. I might, I might fucking reward them with a non-aggression pact. But see, the thing is, I'm gonna go to war with them one day. So yeah, I, I like how they've chosen my side to support. That is really, really good. All right, here we go. Let's try to see if we can take Kusong. And I think that's gonna be the first encirclement on the North Koreans. Oh, here's some Americans. All right, looks like they won't budge here, which is a bit of a shame, you know. Bit of a big shame. Excellent. Oh, but the approach to Pyongyang is actually open. Thanks to this push. Let's see if we can just rush in and grab the city. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Send me. Oh, that's probably that's probably why they're supporting us, because we're fighting the North Koreans. <laughs> Big brain AI. Fucking galaxy brain AI. I still want to encircle Rason. Alright, as soon as you're ready, charge. My brave marines. Oh yeah, Pyongyang. Can be taken. Just like that. Then we can uh, send our armor across the Azure Hills or, or whatever. And probably reach my marines. Three-dimensional warfare is gonna be very, very helpful in that Pyongyang hotel thing. There we go. Let's see if that's gonna be enough to let us take the city. Probably. 
send some more special forces down to Kusong. And ooh, Chinese versus American tanks in North Korea with the North Korean, or sorry, with the Americans supporting the North Koreans. Uh, their tanks on the defense are gonna beat ours or something. But what if we've got our Marines, our glorious Chinese Marines supporting them? Oh shit. Our glorious Chinese Marines were not enough. But maybe, maybe they actually are. So we're gonna pin this group while we advance south of this Marine Division. And we pin it with this other Marine Division. Then with the tanks, we get to Tokochon. And that. Ladies and gentlemen, is North Korea cut in two? And in the meantime, I'll get my other tanks to come down and take one sun. That seems pretty difficult. Maybe we cannot take one sun yet. What are we lacking? Ooh, utility vehicles, Jesus Christ. Those things go down pretty fast. Gonna be the Shenyang J31. Oh, get back to Yenji, thanks. Come on. Damn. Yeah, attacking into the mountains is gonna be difficult. It's going to be a lot more effective if we send these forces down. To help in the fight in the mainland of North Korea. Oh, do not advance in there because our brave marines down here are not having an easy time. So we need the extra cover. Yeah, that's, that's all the... <laughs> look at all these North Koreans. They're all coming from the fucking 38th parallel. They're not happy about what's going on. Oh shit. Ooh, good thing that we just took that. Alright, what if we big brain it up? Turn on the bigger brain. Even bigger than what we've been doing. And we even encircle Chosan. That would be pretty cool. The people do not appreciate long wars. The more decisive the war, the more... Uh, or the, the less penalizing. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, the Russians, how much war... Oh, wow. Only 5% war enthusiasm has been lost, but... The North Koreans, they're probably not feeling all too good right now. Oh, look at that. We can reach the sea at Tanchon. Alright, have we taken yuzhno Sakhalinsk? No, but we are about to. And oh, the Koreans are, or our Koreans are advancing on their own, which is pretty great. Yeah, the, the front up north is a little bit stable after we did that massive advance all the way up to, you know, the Straits of Sakhalin. I'm not sure if that's actually the name of this place, but, or, you know, of the, the Straits, but that's what I'm calling them. I love the Nazi Germans fucking attacking from Urumqi into the mountains of Tian Shan against Kazakhstan and Turkey in the Sino-Russian war. That's just the greatest. All right. Yo, maybe we can attack Yugoslavia. No. Yeah, this this um Oh damn, they took out my special forces and Kizilkiya in the end with 
a horde of multinational crazy armies. Anyway, we're about to leverage influence on the on the Africans, so we're about to flex all over the African continent. What the fuck, House of Solomon nationalist outlook? They fucking restored the Ethiopian Empire. Oh, okay, boomer. Like, <laughs> literally, okay, boomer. You know, if we coup them with, like, the... Or... They have to be the same outlook for us to puppet them. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, we're about to have some fun in Africa, looks like. Oh, shit. North Korean special forces have surrounded my marines. That is not good. Yeah, okay. 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 Good. More encirclements. Now, if we take the port of Sinpo, then most of their supply that's coming into here will be gone. And also... We can come down and seriously hurt these guys. Yeah, I think we can finish off North Korea very, very soon. Because their army must be mostly at the breaking point. Alright, so now we attack into Rason to take over the port. Actually, I need that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we can take the port. There's actually some Brazilians and Americans in there as well, so we're about to kill a whole massive multinational pro-North Korea coalition army of doom. Excellent, leverage influence. Uh, right, we need to uh, we need to wait for one day for the influence thing to update. Awesome. I'll let Pakistan join the the research agreement now. Anyone randomly naval invade me? No, not yet. Random things up up here? No, not really. Great. Oh, end of a lot of North Korean units. All right. Okay, now we can continue on down the coast with this group of forces. And Sakhalin is uh, mostly Chinese. Great. Excellent. Let's look at the casualties. 192k. What about North Korea? 324k. That was a lot of guys. We just destroyed. Alright, it's time to redeploy these forces. And strike down south to finish off North Korea's evil regime. Evil pro-imperialist regime, <laughs> obviously. They've supported the anti-Chinese? 
That means they're imperialist. Alright, let's see if we can take the fortifications. It's gonna be difficult because... It's the fucking fortifications, you know? Yeah, they've got level 4 forts out of 5 possible, but... Uh, looks relatively doable. We are doing it. The Red Dragon Invasion... Confirmed. Alright, so we're about to seize control of the north-south border crossings. And I think the days of the North Korean army up here in the northeast are numbered as well. Take Oha. And um, once this North Korea business is done, I can redeploy all these armies up to the north, and there we go! <laughs> we have seized 1,200 Koksan artillery pieces, apparently. And a bunch of other equipment. That is quite good. That is quite good. Now, I'm not just gonna send over everyone, though. To greener pastures. Because, uh, guess what? I don't particularly think that, like, the South Koreans are all that friendly. Like, they may be acting friendly. But, uh, you know, should things go awry, I know where they stand. They stand with the Americans. So in no way I'm letting this area, you know, kind of off the cuff. I'll leave a lot of troops, or at least, you know, enough to prevent surprises. Because the last one was a surprise. I didn't expect the North Koreans to fight against me. Bye-bye Denmark. Left the European Union. Wait, Russia has infantry divisions? AI Light Infantry Brigade. Okay. Okay, Boomer. You and your infantry. Alright. We're starting to push the Russians back in Central Asia. That is very good. Hmm. Monarchism on the rise, Jesus Christ. Can we shop for random allies around here? We can turn Kenya into a puppet rather easily. 55% chance. How much of an army do you have? Seven divisions. Urgh. You're not gonna fare well against the Congo DR. But maybe with the help of the other puppets and a Chinese army, we can invade Congo DR. Is that Syria? <laughs> Syria sending volunteers to Hong Kong. Oh. Kenya has strategic reasons to be hostile to China? Oh, okay, Boomer. Fuck. I think our coup just failed. Rip. Very rip. I was hoping that we could get an ally out of that. That is unfortunate. You know, if Angola joins us, that would be amazing. Or Sudan. Ah. Invite faction. Oh, we have a war that may be drawn into 120. Mm. Oh, you're actually not aligned as well. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, 
Yo, what if we just attack this Brazilian division? Ah, uh, maybe they're coming with fucking all of these divisions up here. Excellent. Man, I like how they've decided to put all of their guys in fucking Xinjiang. That's just the usual AI stuff. Yeah, well, we need to repair some of these fucking buildings. Yo, they're strat bombing me still. I see like Chongqing is damaged. Although... No, that must have been me being retarded. There is no damage in Chongqing. Alright, time to advance. Especially because the Koreans already advanced. Alright. Okay. Time to prepare for a bit of an en masse push on Russia. Man, American armored divisions. American armored divisions. All right. Um, anyway, I think I'll end the episode right here. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you soon and all those good stuffs. Uh, and next time, we're going to try to reach... Well, maybe Irkutsk is a bit too much, but maybe Cheetah... Uh, I mean, it shouldn't be impossible. Wait, where's the... You're telling me there's no impassable terrain over here? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, man, why couldn't it be like Kaiserreich where there is impassable terrain over here? And you don't have to fucking go into fucking Yakutia. Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah. Enjoy. I'll see you soon.